From a GP's perspective, of course, when someone walks in, they could have any one of sort of 2,000 different conditions. So I think they've got a lot on their plates in terms of deciding all of the different things that, that people could have. There is delay to diagnosis, which is more common in people with early onset Parkinson's. If you develop Parkinson's symptoms in your 40s, it takes longer to be diagnosed. And I think it's more likely to be diagnosed as a frozen shoulder or arthritis or some other problem. And I think it, it, it takes longer for people to get a diagnosis. And I think it also, we know that only half of Parkinson's patients have a tremor when the disease starts. The other half don't have tremor and just have stiffness. And again, it may take longer for a GP to um, realize um, diagnosis. I think that actually identifying people very early is gonna be important for treatment. And um, you know, the predict PD type work, looking at constipation, lack of sense of smell, some of these very early features I think can be really important for, for future therapy. So. Yeah, thanks you. And I, I think it could be a, a topic for another evening actually, the work of our excellence network, similar amounts of focus actually going into how we improve quality of, of, of care and education and standards. In a typical day for me, I'll see 16 people with Parkinson's during my clinic and I'm still amazed at the difference from one person to the next. So how do we start to appreciate some of these individual striking differences from one person to the next with Parkinson's? Parkinson's is a disease where the average age of onset is in the 60s. If you're someone who's developed Parkinson's in your 20s, that's a very unusual thing to happen, and we're particularly interested in why that might have happened.